how to sync your audio manually in Premiere Pro. Hi guys, my name is Alexandra Odeki. I'm a photographer and a filmmaker based in Lagos, Nigeria. So there are several ways of doing this, all right? But I'm going to be teaching you how to do it in Premiere Pro. The Shapira, that, that's a very good software that is that specialized in that. You can use that to sync audio, you know, there are so many others. So I'll take you guys to my Premiere Pro now and I'll show you guys how to do it manually. So guys, let's go shoot the Premiere Pro. So here actually in Premiere Pro, so I'm gonna import um, the footage I want to sync. Okay, so this is the video and this is the audio. So I'll import the entire folder. All right, it's now in Premiere Pro. Then I'll bring, just drag it into Premiere Pro. Uh, I could have actually just opened this, then drag each different, uh, separately but i just want to do this way so this is what you do here so this is the audio and this is my video yeah so all that matters is make sure it is underneath um the video you want to link it up with now here's a problem a lot of people do what we will do most of the time is they'll pick this audio this audio in the uh this audio that belongs to this um the video what they do is they pick this audio that belongs to this video, they delete it. But in an actual sense, this will actually work if you try this at home. Sorry. The mistake some people do is they will delete this audio, the unlink, then they will delete it. Okay, so that won't work if you actually do that. So what you have to do basically is, you have to leave this audio there because what Premiere Pro is going to do in this situation is that Premiere Pro is going to read the audio wave from the camera, which is this one over here, and it's also going to read the wave of this audio recorded separately, then it will match them together. So what we we'll definitely now do after then is this. We select both this audio, then we'll right click, then we'll click on synchronize. So to give you this option, different thing, but just, you can choose, this other option you can choose. But the one we choose focus on is this audio option, track one, track one. So we click on OK. So Premiere Pro is going to do a wave walk. So you know, read through the wave, and automatically it synchronizes. So now after this, I'll right click on this audio, on link, click on it, then delete this. Then I can then click on both of these, then link them together. So that's how it is done in Premiere Pro. I hope it was helpful to you. This is how it is done on Premiere Pro. So thank you guys for stopping by on my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. I bring up tutorials weekly on Premiere Pro, cinematography, photography, you know, and many more. Can you hit the notification button and the subscribe button so you know you'll be a part of this family. So this is what I'll be teaching you for a bonus tip. Now look at this audio now. If you pay attention, there's a room um, echo to the way to the audio. So now what I'll be doing is I'll be adding a couple of effects to it. So let me go to effects. Okay. So I go to audio effects. And I look at the adaptive noise reduction. So I click on that, drag it on this audio. Then click on edit. So what I basically do is just click on this uh, preset here. I immediately use this heavy noise reduction. That's what I majorly use. I put it, I click on it, and uh, then I'll show you the before and the after. So, so for now, I say bye.